You could imagine yourself in a flashy sports automobile passes you by, thinking, that could be me. In the same way, when you see someone living on the street, hardly eating, wearing shabby clothing, thank God I'm not like that man, you could be thinking to yourself. Guess what? You could get into those beautiful autos the same manner if you had certain tendencies. Certain behaviors might force you to live on the streets. You see, poverty is a condition of complete material destitution. The necessities of life are out of reach for those who live in poverty. They survive on leftovers and are most prone to spiral into death. Not all people are impoverished by birth. However, there are certain behaviors that might contribute to that condition. In this video, I'll share with you 5 behaviors you need to stop on how to get out of poverty. Habit number 1. Aiming for immediate gratification. When someone wants a reward or satisfaction right now, they are pursuing instant gratification. It indicates that they want it immediately rather than later. This behavior is believed to prevent people from pursuing long-term opportunities. In case you didn't know, individuals get wealthy due to long-term potential, while short-term possibilities prevent you from leaving your existing financial situation. People who have this tendency make up all kinds of excuses for why they shouldn't engage in activities that would benefit their money in the long run, simply because they don't want to deal with the temporary discomfort of the necessary sacrifices. Instant satisfaction is a sort of self-destructive behavior. It also has a connection to procrastination, where you choose immediate gratification over long-term success if you fall into this trap. You may get addicted to your anger experience envy, and make rash judgments. Stress, worry, and a sense of being overpowered will follow from this. The majority of people with this tendency lack self-control and are unable to restrain their emotional cravings. This habit has extremely serious repercussions. You continue to be sad, which results in bad choices and careless planning. Most often, a poorly planned life results in poverty. My recommendation to folks who struggle with the urge for immediate satisfaction is to begin practicing delayed gratification. Instant luxury is the antithesis of delayed satisfaction. In order to accomplish long-term objectives and reap their benefits, one must sometimes forgo momentary pleasures. There may be some pain or discomfort initially, but it will pass. The benefits of developing delayed gratification behaviors are many. Strong willpower, higher self-discipline, more concentration, better planning skills, stronger financial management abilities, and a greater appreciation for the importance of patience are a few of these. Firstly, there are a few ways you may change your thinking to concentrate more on the long term. Higher payoff if you are now an immediate gratification seeker. To start, you must be aware of the goals you have for your life. When you don't know when you want to end your life, it is simple to let current temptations take control of your life. Having a clear idea of where you want to go will make it easier for you to make plans and avoid being tempted by short-term rewards and pleasures. You should start by doing this in order to stop your tendency of instant pleasure. The next step is to recognize possible temptations. This is the next action. You will be faced with several temptations. To continue the analogy, it is essential to understand these temptations and how they will impact your long-term objectives if you want to overcome the urge for immediate fulfillment. Next, you need to surround yourself with people who will help you achieve your long-term goals. Everyone is aware of how influential a person's social circle can be. It would be difficult for you to kick the habit if you are surrounded by pals who share your need for fast fulfillment. Building a strong support system of individuals who value short-term sacrifices is essential for long-term success. You may motivate yourself with a modest reward when you ultimately establish a reward system for yourself. When you commit to a long-term game plan and begin to meet the milestones you've set for yourself, a reward is not the same as immediate gratification. They are not interchangeable. There is a scheduled price, but it won't arrive until you complete a certain short-term objective. As an example, if you decide to save $250 per week for 4 weeks, 
you will have succeeded in saving a thousand dollars. You may treat yourself to a five dollar Starbucks cappuccino as a reward. These little incentives can help you to stay encouraged during your trip. Habit number two: borrowing excessive amounts of money. This is the result of constantly going into debt and overspending. It ensures your continued poverty. When an excessive spender runs out of money, yet still has to maintain a specific lifestyle, more credit is statistically their second best alternative. And because they have several obligations to pay off, whatever income you get must go toward those repayments. In the U.S., low-income households repay their debt with more than 40% of their income. According to studies, Having debt has an impact on a person's capacity to make long-term financial choices. Consider all the interest that would be due on each loan. It would amount to a respectable amount of money that might have been used to buy additional material things. Being in debt also implies that your credit rating would be bad, in addition to all the interest you would have to pay. There are very few investors or loan providers who will give you money. You know full well that you owe money. If no investors were interested in your business, or if your loan requests were denied, you wouldn't be able to get money for it. Or, in the worst case, how to get out of poverty. Habit number three: overspending. Spending more than you have to or can afford is simply referred to as overspending. One of the most typical practices that pushes people into poverty is this one. Many individuals go beyond because they want to impress someone, such as a group of people like their old college friends or a new female they have met. It's possible that they go overboard simply because they lack restraint and have a propensity to acquire anything they see that's attractive. The truth is that you don't necessarily need to spend a ton of cash at the bar on the newest technology or even a new automobile. Particularly if your current vehicle is in good condition. Unfortunately, a lot of individuals develop "I deserve it" mindset, which encourages them to spend money on a lot of items they might leave without. They often experience the feeling because they need these benefits to enhance the quality of their life. Because other aspects of their life are missing, even if it's just for a little period of time, they could not like their absence or be in a bad relationship. Spending is a frequent, short-term solution, but it's not a long-term one. When you develop a habit of living beyond your means, accumulating debt is a frequent side consequence of overspending. Naturally, you'll want to continue. You'll end up using more credit than you should because of this. Spending too much prevents you from saving, which may hinder your financial development in a variety of ways. You won't have money for either long-term or short-term investments if you don't set aside a portion of your income. If one does not make investments in their future, how can they advance financially? Furthermore, if you didn't save for a house, it would be almost hard to acquire one. This implies that you will be responsible for paying rent till the end of your days, even after retirement or at your age. Speaking about renting too much, it would be difficult to even pay the rent on time. Consider that for a moment. You are on the verge of being bankrupt and living on the streets if you have no savings, no place to call home, and unpaid rent. So living within your means and making safer investments in growth is a prudent course of action. Budgeting is a tried and true method for assisting you in living within your means. Establish a budget before you go out with friends or while you are making plans for the day. I am aware that you live in constant dread of coming off as stingy. Being seen as frugal and having money is preferable than being frugal and having no money. You may place yourself on a road out of poverty by making good purchases now. Habit number four: procrastination. Procrastination is one of the surest paths to poverty. You must put your plans into action if you want to be wealthy. You must thus exert both mental. And physical effort. Contrarily, procrastination prevents you from doing, and when you don't act, you don't achieve. You will be dragged into poverty if you have a pattern of putting off crucial life-altering decisions. 
This practice will also keep you from achieving wealth. The only individuals who succeed in this world are those who act when action is necessary. Even if you are the world's most talented graphic designer, you will be looking down on poverty if you do not invest the time and effort required to build your brand or expand your best-selling digital product. Missing up on fantastic possibilities is one of the greatest risks of procrastinating. There are certain chances that come around seldom, and you will lose a lot if you are not prepared when it does. In addition to passing on life-changing possibilities, procrastination may also cause a number of psychological issues. And by being aware of these symptoms, you will be more likely to stop your bad habits. First, putting off tasks might make you anxious. You'll have to deal with the strain of juggling postponed responsibilities if you delay. As your upcoming responsibilities weigh on you mentally, this could lead to a number of mental health problems for people who are more likely to have them. The next is exhaustion. You'll accumulate an unfinished job list if you continue to put off completing your chores. You'll most likely have to miss out on a lot of sleep in order to make up for lost time to meet deadlines. Weariness would result from this and fatigue would decrease your productivity both now and maybe in the future. Low self-esteem is the last emotional cause of being a procrastinator. The reason is that procrastinating will make you an underperformer in the end. So, when you consistently do badly, you feel like a loser, even if you may be able to ignore this sense of low self-worth. Is it risky to pursue financial independence? Why? I hear you ask. Because you won't be inspired to take the actions necessary on how to get out of poverty if you have poor self-esteem. You may not even be able to get out of bed in the morning due to the fear of failing once again. Habit number 5 Concentrating on too many endeavors Being a master of all crafts is a tendency that many individuals have. This is the drawback that you will hardly be able to master any of them. A talent does not become second nature overnight. It requires effort, dedication, and guidance from those who have already made a name for themselves in that industry. A bad habit that can put your finances in danger is trying to master too many abilities at once. This is because you'll spend more of your limited resources to support more projects. You could even be tempted to fund its project with a number of loans. Like plants, businesses need regular watering and pruning in order to produce fruit. You will become more successful and more skilled in that profession if you devote your attention to mastering only that one area. The risk of failing at several undertakings is that you can find yourself in debt and frustrated as a result. We've reached the end of another video, and thank you for watching. I hope you have learned how to get out of poverty. If you like this video, do give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below. Thank you and goodbye.